Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cops Wrap-Up Show here. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, with you guys tonight on the Facebook Live. Thank you guys for joining us there or over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on your podcast client. We got a crew with us tonight to talk about uh, police actions. Uh, first of all, with us from Beacon, New York, the only Mayhemer with a future endeavored letter from the WWE. And we have never confirmed whether he was taken out of the office via handcuffs. Uh, Mad Mike is with us. Guys, I just heard uh, there is a new theme song for wrestlemania and that is nwa is fuck the police mm. fuck, fuck, fuck the police yeah <laughs> also with us wondering if he's in the right place from the tiny shutter podcast he's got his mayhem mania sign all ready for pointing it is dave podner hey guys and yeah i was that was um some really high quality uh police work tonight too <laughs> Re- i mean wow I had discussed uh, that I recently uh, uh, witnessed an incident involving police action and resisting arrest at my local Arby's down the hill. And uh, it was felt very familiar until the um, car bashing, uh, driving the car without your hands, uh, the, the multi-skilled. It was the most chaotic thing I think we've seen on Raw in like 10 years. And it was amazing. Um. I don't know if it was the most chaotic thing we've seen in 10 years. Have you watched a Baron Corbin promo? Mm, okay. Uh, chaotic and enjoyable. Fair. Okay. 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 Yeah. I, got yeah. I know we got yeah. something on there. I know we got something yeah. out of this. Uh, I just... <laughs> Borg. Wow. Yeah. Um, what are we doing with, with tag teams at WrestleMania? <laughs> Who cares about tag teams? People were like destroying cop cars I, in the back. I, I, there's really tag know. teams. Wait, there's a tag team division. Sorg, there was a tag team title match tonight. What? Like, what? What are we doing with tag teams at WrestleMania? What are we doing? I, in, you you realize that we, we had a chance to merge the tag team belts. <laughs> I'm we sorry. almost Dude. could have merged the belts. We could add the NXT Raw Tag Team Champions. I'm sorry. No, no. There's a cat. There's a cat in your shot. And the, the tail just hit the Oh, camera. I know. You can't do anything about him. <laughs> nope. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You, you don't see I the one just, that's behind me over my right shoulder there. either. I was just going to let it go. Ninja. You don't see Ninja Cat over there on my oh, shoulder. I see, oh, I see him. I've, I've become very accustomed to looking at for Ninja Cat. I can't deal with this. <laughs> I can't deal with this tonight. Oh my god! Chaos. You want it? You want we we wanted chaos. We had chaos. Cats That's and right. cats living together. Mass hysteria. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh man. Um. I mean, at least I don't try put them in the back seat at the same time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't, <laughs> at least there are no ducks. I mean, I I don't think anything but a main event for WrestleMania will involve cops. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, there are less cops involved in this than there were in the Triple H Randy Orton feud, and they had a home invasion. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Um, and not one, but two Randy Orton wives. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought they got two different actresses to play his wife. Oh, over different... the weeks they did, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. Oops. I might be mistaken on that. Oops, but... we forgot to call her back. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, and apologize to the chat. I'm trying to pull it up, but it's it's not showing me. I got the chat, Sorg. You got it up? Okay. It's not Sorg, behaving. Covered. It's not, it's not behaving on my iPad. So, Mike, let me know if there's anything good out there in the chat room. Uh, <laughs> it's just Carr saying bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Alex Carr is out of California. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll see you this Saturday, actually. Uh, I believe we're going to catch some uh, indie wrestling downtown L.A. Uh, when I'm out there this weekend. So. 
Uh, but anyways, uh, and by the way, if there are any mayhemers, any other mayhemers out in Cali that uh, want to uh, watch wrestling with me in my hotel room in Van Nuys, that sounds actually like an odd proposition in that context. Mm-hmm. But uh, in the oh, lobby, yeah. how about in the lobby yeah. of the hotel room? I, who, the wants hotel? To, who, who wants to get in a in a twin <laughs> a twin size bed with Sorg and watch sweaty <laughs> men grapple each other? Sometimes they give me a double. I, I, I can't, don't know what I was listed as. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you gotta go high. You gotta go high end for the uh, student competition. Yeah, that is right. That is right. In sure. Van Nuys, California, which isn't that like a porn capital or something uh, out it's there? California is a porn capital. That is let's, true. Let's, Just let's be let's be really real about I'll it. I'll be out there doing some research. Anyways, <laughs> no, it's a business trip. I, that's what they all say. Well, I, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Let's be honest. We filmed so professional wrestling. I did a business. We we oh, Duke Duke Davis of the main event was here, uh, um, um, shooting uh, uh one of our uh, shows for Indie Indie Wrestling Network, and he talked about his conversation with a stripper out in Las Vegas, talking about like if she's ever thought about what music she comes out to. And it was like, <laughs> listen, you come out the music, um, you wear you wear tight clothes. And sometimes it stays on, and you sure. come out and perform in front of people. It's basically the same thing. Sorg, what would your stripper music be? What would my stripper music be? Yeah. Um, by, the way, by the way, Ronnie Stark says twin bed, giggity. I think I think mine would be um, uh, Nookie by Limp Biscuit. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'd I'd come out to Cherry Pie by Warrant. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's a that's a classic stripper song. Yeah. Also, yeah, really also a classic. I mean, both of those are things I probably heard too much in indie wrestling as well. So, <laughs> I mean, but I think I think indie wrestling has over over uh, um, uh, uh, nude dancing is there's way more disturbed. Oh, there's yeah. a lot of disturbed. Yeah, there's 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 the show where you had three people come out to disturbed um, or two or three shine down songs. Uh, mm-hmm. But then there was also that weird one where like three people came out to Katy Perry. Which could also and then play. and then there's always one asshole who has to come out to Modest Mouse. <laughs> That's right. That is right. You know, uh, or that one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm ripping on Modest Mouse. It was the first thing that came to my brain. I mean, is there is there a problem in strip joints where like do they like wait too long to come out? Like they they wait a minute into the song. Where, like I gotta wait till it's the right point to make my entrance. Or, yeah, of course. I mean, Grant, I've only been to one strip joint in my life, and it was in Stanford, Connecticut. But I, it it did sound like hmm. WWE pay per view theme songs from the mid two thousands there, so I'm not gonna lie, pretty great. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back. Let's get the back. To great. Me. Unless uh, Dave, unless you have any opinions about strip joint music, uh, I, I think we'll get back to wrestling. Now let's go back to wrestling. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Uh, All right. So, what stripper song does the Demon Balor come? <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking devil in a blue dress. I think the <laughs> devil goes down to Georgia. Ooh, good song. Good, mm. good choice. Good choice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you oh. like that the, they confirmed that we're getting Demon Valor? I do like that because that's not going to be a surprise. We're like, oh, cool. I we're wanted to be a surprise. Really? Well, and right. it's, nice to know, it's nice to know that the... Um, the ice, the icy belt's more important than the universal belt. Oh, I wasn't gonna go there because that was good spiral. Uh, it, it's too thing. easy. It's too it easy. Spiral me into a whole thing, but you're exactly right. I mean, unless Finn Balor truly believes that Bobby Lashley says he's better than Brock Lesnar, in which case, <laughs> well, there's that. I, um... mean, you know, I mean, Bobby Lashley has been saying that. Mm-hmm. And don't forget, I mean, who was who's the bigger threat in the on the outside, Heyman or Lilo Rush? Well, it depends. Are you getting checks from this person? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you getting paid by the person on the outside? I'd say Leo's less of a threat then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm reading. I'm reading reactions of John Oliver right now from Paul London, and, <laughs> oh, and there's yeah. a lot of interesting um, stripper song chat um, options coming up in the chat room. Oh, are there? Though? What are some samples out there? Uh, Space Lord by Monster Magnet. Ooh, that's, yeah. um, that's a good one. 
Let's see. Uh, Ronnie Stark says at least no one's coming out to Nickelback. Bitch I'm, Se- Bitch, I'm Sexy by Dark Lotus. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, mm-hmm. that'd be a great stripper song. And Alex just says Dragula, which I'm not sure if it's a song or a stripper name. Yes. yes. Okay. Fair. Yes. I, or it could be a wrestler on the drag show that's uh, happening up at, uh, in New York. Oh, potentially. Okay. Yes. I, are you aware of this? It's a. It's a pretty. Uh, yeah. Some friends. Friends of ours have been uh, a part of this. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff happening in New York, and I'm not going to any of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm WrestleMania going, I, weekend. I'm, I, I'm going to Access. I'm going to WrestleMania. That's it. Oh, like I, if Lucha, if Lucha Underground was doing a show, I'd go to that. Oh, there's gonna be plenty of stuff. Did you see that we did book uh, another Guardian of the Independence uh, uh, for the week after Mania? Mayhem after Mania. We're coining it. <laughs> Uh, is going to be uh, Victor Benjamin and, and uh, Lady Frost, who are going to p- be part of Black Blackcraft Wrestling, amongst God knows who else over the weekend, right? Or th- by that episode, I will be a full year older. Oh, jeez, it's going to be terrifying. Ne- next, next Raw, next week for our wrap up, I was going to go to Raw, but I can't find anyone to go with, so I'm going to be podcasting on my birthday, Sorg. So you better make it fucking good. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> no, nothing like a good threat on a mo- on the Monday after Mania. You know what? This would be a good. Isn't chance that what the Monday after Mania is for? Idle threats. Mike, you know what I should do is rebook my flight from California, just drop into New York City, and see what we could do. Uh, Sorg, I'd be all for that. Okay, we'll be. We're gonna <laughs> talk about that. Unfortunately, I did submit the thing, but oh well. Uh, Sorg, I'd be all for that. I mean, you know, we could. I'm going to Access on Monday afternoon. I'm going to meet the Iconics again. It's going to be great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's going to be fantastic. If you want to take a red eye from California, show up, mm-hmm. meet me at Access. We can go to Access. We can go raw. Boom. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. What are uh, we doing? Why are we doing this? How are you doing? Mike and Mike's show. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, we'll go off it. We'll go off it. Oh, shit. That hasn't been, that hasn't... And take down notice. <laughs> It hasn't been used in like two and a half don't, years now. It's free. It's free reign. Don't make me break out the hair. Anyways, um, fucking <laughs> a. Uh, anyways, um, uh, uh, tag teams. I have no idea. Uh, I think they're all in the um the battle royal. Last I saw, uh, I, no. Rude and Gable are. Uh, Heath Slater and Rhino are. But like, I don't think Heavy Machinery is. I saw Heavy Machinery on a list. Really? I okay. did on the site. So That's just a damn shame. Yeah. Like yeah. how are we supposed to be getting to these this seventeen match card? Mm-hmm. Are we still at seventeen or since we don't have a SmackDown women's No, no, well, I think since everything's well, I think, been merged together. I think it's only at thirteen now. Like thirteen or fourteen matches. Do we want more matches? I want title <sighs> matches. You want title matches. Okay. I, I I want every title on the line as opposed to AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. Oh God, yeah. I feel like yeah. it, it, you know, and I, I, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to watch from the start of WrestleMania. So there's that always: do I drop into where we were at at WrestleMania and watch it live with you guys, or do I watch it afterwards? Um, but if I watch it afterwards, do, do, do the drop in. Do the drop in. Drop uh, like, in. Well, how yeah. are you? Are you going to keep abreast of? Are you going to try and keep spoiler free? I, I tried last year. What ended up happening was on the lift ride home, I was pulling up the feed because I realized the kickoff start was starting and I maybe missed a cruiserweight match. Okay, well. If you're trying to stay spoiler free, then stay off Twitter till like midnight. And I don't then know. Start- I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is interesting as a show to you guys out there, but, uh, but I. Well, to be fair, Raw didn't do that much tonight. It was a whoa, lot whoa, of. Whoa, 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 whoa! You can't. Okay, all right. We it did didn't do that much. Well, was, I you mean, advancing storylines. I mean, you. We, yeah, I mean, it was a lot of. It's, it's, a, it's the go home before Mania. So, I mean, isn't the biggest hope no one gets injured? Yeah, by exactly. breaking yeah. fake glass. Exactly, and that's. <laughs> That's the or getting we, kneed into the side of a car door. Yeah, yeah we, that that looked nasty. I mean, we introduced we introduced a potential the match could go away in this tag match, which we know what you know you know it's not going to go away, but it well, turns into the, an all out brawl and 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 vehicular mayhem and everything. And wow, well, okay, I don't know about the story uh, uh, advancing more than is there more um, 
heat going into this, you know? No, I don't think so. It's the same level of really? heat. Really? Really? You yeah, did no. not elevate the heat level by introducing vehicular mayhem into this? No, because you could, done, you could have done a face-to-face-to-face and done the exact same thing. I mean, if you really wanted a lot of heat, you could have just left Charlotte out of the match and you had enough heat before bringing Charlotte and confusing people and adding people and removing people. Well, I don't I don't mind them adding Charlotte to the match. I understand why they're doing it from a business perspective. They want the first main event and they want two people who are going to be in there for the long haul and they want someone named Flair in it. I get all of that. But giving her the SmackDown Women's title does nothing to add to the match. No. Hmm. I mean, unless you're talking about having Becky you know, holding both titles up well, at the very both, end. Both titles are on the line, which is completely idiotic, because they didn't say unification. No, no, they no. said they said both titles are on the line. Well, whoever's going to win, I'm, I'm, whoever's going to win is going to prance around with two titles over their 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 shoulders for the next month or two until we decide I'm to really, introduce a new belt. I'm really scared. Why are you scared? That Becky and Charlotte are going to lock Ronda in simultaneous submission holds. To end WrestleMania? Yes. I hope not. I hope not. If this was any other pay per view, I would say maybe. But to end WrestleMania? Mm, after how long this has been building up since uh, since Survivor Series, basically? Sorry. So they've they've illustrated that since Survivor Series, they have not known how to tell this story. <laughs> There's that too. To be <laughs> fair. That that finish is the only finish that makes sense because it proves, hey, we didn't know how to tell a story. We 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 want we want all four horsewomen holding the ball of belts. We we didn't know how to do it. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, anything else from tonight? We had Seth and Brock did a thing. Batista did the least possible, but the most. Batista's the... promo was great. But, yeah, was looking great. He's he's. And honestly, that's all we like, needed from the day. Funnier. It would have been even funnier if he waited for all that and just said, Avengers Infinity War comes out April 28th. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the mic. Walk away. <laughs> like, I would have been... I, I would have stand Big Dave forever if he did that. Like, don't even promote the fight. <laughs> just say Avengers Infinity War April 28th. Boom. <laughs> Oh, and then totally. he snaps his fingers and walks away. <laughs> I mean, I did like in the women's match the, for the heel team, they were like, okay, which one is the best wrestler and keep her in the ring the entire match? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're pretty me, close. As, as we're someone pretty who close. has watched a lot of Tamina matches, you don't want Tamina anywhere. In oh, match. no, no, no. By the way, it's kind of sad to me that Tamina and Natalia are getting a title match in the year of the man 2019 and Asuka isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are officially on for the women's battle Royal. The ovary trophy has returned uh, that we're aware of. Um, Why can't we just call it the ivory trophy? Because it's only one letter off. The uh, the ivory memorial battle Royal. <laughs> I mean, not she's dead. not dead. <laughs> Me to it. <laughs> She's not dead, but we should pray homage. It should be the China Memorial. Oh, it should definitely should be the yeah. China. It you know, should be the China. Would it be great? Would it be great? Mike, Mike, woman in the world in the world. Rumble. Mike, you you lay me uh, uh, preferred scenarios all the time here. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't it be great if we uh, get to the Hall of Fame and they're doing the D- the DX, uh, you know, introduc- induction and everything, and mm-hmm. during that induction. When they talk about China, they announce that tomorrow's women's battle royal will now be known as the China Memorial Battle Royal. Oh, Sorg, you're doing a lot of writing there, and I appreciate that. <laughs> They're never gonna fucking do it in a million years. By the way, is is this the most lackluster Hall of Fame ever? Mm, Why well, is, is this the most, is this the most, most lackluster one? Because I think it is. I'm told that there is – somebody was just telling me today that there is um, big limitations even on top of that, that uh, uh, there is no induction, uh, I- introduction people. Like nobody's oh. being inducted by people, and everybody's been limited to 15-minute speeches. 
I have been told. I, I don't know what the source is for that. That doesn't sound accurate at all. No? I don't think that's the case. Have I mean, s- that. Way, I mean, how else would you get Hogan on the Hall of Fame if he's not going to introduce uh, Brutus? Yeah. Yeah. Be- no, no, I'm serious. Wait, that's no, almost wait, the whole it, entire it, reason to have Brutus Beefcake again. in the Hall of Fame. Is, is Brutus for real or was that an April Fool's yeah, joke? No, Brutus is real. Brutus no, is no, real? He, they, they, he was in the promo. He, he was, he was in, in the whole, they had the promo where they said everyone getting in and he was included. Yeah. Yeah, Brutus is real. Yeah. Here's a comment not in our chat room from our, our friend Hill Bradley. I don't care what anybody says. Those three women were having the time of their lives in that segment. I don't think Ronda was. <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. I don't, don't tell with I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't think Ronda's had fun since Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. I, no, I, and, I seriously don't think that. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, talking about something Tina brought up in the chat room, uh, the ultra trolling Naomi. Oh, Na- oh, Naomi oh, on Twitter oh, just God. going full out like, you know what? I won this trophy. You guys remember when I won this trophy? No, we don't. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, because someone said, oh, I can't believe she's speaking up. And she's like, I've been silent for 10 years. I don't have 10 more years to be silent. It's mm-hmm. been 84 years. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I This all stems back to the SmackDown women still getting the shaft after being put in the Evolution Battle Royal. Once again. Once again. It, go, it goes right back to that. It's all the same thing. Like they even took the two best people from SmackDown and put them on Raw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, SmackDown! Will you ever not be the B show? This fall? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or are we just going to move there. people? I say, or, or are we just going to move people from Raw to SmackDown? I, and Daniel yeah. and Daniel's in the chat room saying, thing. saying May Young Battle Royal, uh, not China. May Young's already got a uh, a tournament. May Young has a whole tournament. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, I think I think they probably regret doing that now because calling it the May Young Battle Royal is so much easier. Mm-hmm. But, um, like, I still wouldn't be opposed to, like, the Sensational Sherry Battle Royal. Mm-hmm. Something oh, like the that. Sherry Mar- the Sherry Martell Battle Royal. Yeah, the uh, Sherry Martell Invitational sounds great. China, the Joni Law. Law- I ain't never saying her name right. Joni Law. <laughs> Well, they wouldn't say that. They'd say China. You yeah, they would yeah. be China. We all, it's their they'd, brand. Say, they'd, say, they'd say China Memorial Battle Royal, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is fine. Mm-hmm. Which is yeah, fine. That's yeah. fine too. I, Sherry Martell is still good too. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Um, I, 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 I'm still very upset that NXT is on Friday. Yeah, that still bothers me. Oh wait, wait. Okay, I want to go to NXT, and now yeah, I really I can't. Think, I think it's a. I, I, for me personally, it works out for scheduling. Uh, but <laughs> for me personally, it's like, oh, I get to go to the show and I don't, I get to catch you. Know, yeah. Uh, but anyways, um... like schedule. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you: Do you think that's either scheduling for the events, or do you think that's more having people have the extra day off between the NXT event and WrestleMania I, I to, to make us forget about it? <laughs> No, I, I honestly think uh, this recovery, body recovery. Because mm-hmm. I no, no, I don't think it's that. I think it's I think it's what Sword said. Have have an extra day. Mm-hmm. Everything is about how many NXT, things that NXT, those five matches were. NXT has towered over WrestleMania the past couple of years. Um, and Hall of Fame. Uh, wait, wait. So Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is Saturday night. Saturday. Hall of Fame was at the Garden last time they were in New York. Yes, and then every, everything else was at the Izod Center across the street from. Yep, uh, and it was, and we didn't, have, and I don't think we had NXT yet. Um, no, no, uh, the first NXT was on thirty, no, thirty or thirty-one, 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 I think. We have thirty-one because thirty. I think the network had just uh, came. Yeah, up the network, the network just launched. Though. We had, we had just launched the rival probably a uh, month and a half before that, um, and uh, and they had the linked those to those weekends. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Tina says she'll miss it because she doesn't get out of work until 5.30. <laughs> oh, West Coast. Yeah, I don't I'll get, be I one of you out. for a week. I don't get out of work until 6.30 <laughs> on Friday. I may just maybe stay somewhere and watch it. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> I mean, I just, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to figure, like, is there some place in L.A. that I can go watch it with other people? 
right? And not just in my hotel. Oh, room. I'm sure there is. Sorg. Like, I, I got to find a WrestleMania party. Sorg, and, I'm and, telling you. T- DM to Joseph. Uh, he's going to be out your way. Come on. I doubt Come it. On. I doubt it. He's not working on wrestling stuff right now. That you know of. <laughs> that I know of, yeah. Wink. Uh, <laughs> I might give a shout out just in case. Uh, anyways, well, uh, anything yeah, else from Raw? I, I don't think WWE is scared of the G1 Supercard. <laughs> no, they're probably not. <laughs> Especially probably not. now that there's no Bullet Club there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still interested. I, I might sign up for Honor Club this month to watch it. Probably not live, but like within the next week. Uh, uh, just to, what's that? I'm not gonna watch it. I think it's gonna be too long of a show. You also to... like I, you don't like Ring of Honor and New Japan as much as I do, so. I'm not opposed to New Japan. Like, if it's New Japan with English commentary, I'm okay with that for the most part. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But anyways, um, at that point... I'm trying, I'm trying to think if there was anything else from Raw that was interesting. I mean, we had to eat, we had actually EC3 talk. <clears throat> well, he laughed. <laughs> yeah, well, no, he did deliver it's a line. It's an interaction. It's an he, interaction. He actually had a line saying oh, he that's, was that's like, right, yeah, he and, and then, yeah, two guys get... Bullied by Braun. But by, by the way, are we yay or nay on Tyler Breeze's haircut? Oh, whatever. Breeze, Breeze is going to breeze, man. I mean, it looks. I mean, honestly, it both look good on him. I, 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 I already missed the locks. Oh. I already missed the locks. Well, I mean, that with, handle, with so that little right bit now. with Fandango, see, uh, you know, with that little teaser they had about him going serious now. Breeze, yeah. he's, Breeze got to change up, you know, You uh, unless you're going to say, oh, here's random partner A just so we can keep you as a tag team. Mm. I, I guess. What happened to Mojo Raleigh talking to the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two things. Two things that I want resolved WrestleMania night. Mojo Raleigh in the mirror probably uh-huh. happened in the Battle Royal. Uh, Lacey Evans coming out randomly with, to people. Okay. All right. So I've figured out this Lacey Evans thing. Okay. Okay. Um, um, it's not going to be a TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's really good too. <laughs> <laughs> that was our topic. That was our title one week. Remember, Lacey Evans TED yeah, talk, yeah, and, then, and then producer Missy thought I accidentally posted Awesome Cast instead of Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I think Lacey Evans. Someone somewhere has figured out how to 3D print an animated GIF. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good too. That's good too. I, I think her. I think her. Remember, remember how we used to call Dana Brooke Dana Brooke dot gif. Yeah, because yeah. she would come out like the side of the like every <laughs> single time. Like it was a five minute pose routine, and Lacey Evans is just like, oh no, I got it, I got it. You know what this is? Lacey Evans is a character in The Sims. But someone who doesn't know how to play, and the mm. control keeps getting stuck, and she keeps coming out, coming out, coming out, and they're like, "No, no, why are you turning around? You're supposed to go through the ring." Maybe uh, Alex is saying spoiler: Mojo Raleigh's mirror won the the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. No, here's what, here's no. what I want. Here's what I want. The, the, the he's actually been talking to Gronk off camera the whole time. I was say, yeah, that did. It's Sword, Gronk. Come on. All right, no, no. The joke is, you see Mojo Rawley talking to the mirror, and he's further away, and all of a sudden, Gronk busts through like the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> it's Gronk. Wait, a minute. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait a minute. remember when they had the little teaser about the Battle Royal? They did have the part about Gronk in it. I guess they did. That that irritated. they highlighted Gronk. Yeah, that that really. That that bothers me. I'd rather have Colin Jost win. <laughs> that's that's not a joke. That's that's not a joke. I'd rather have Colin Jost win. Anyways, uh, you know what we didn't start with was uh, your good from wrestling this week, and I, I do want to reference. I went to a KSWA uh, this weekend because I had a weekend off, you guys, that I was not filming wrestling, so I oh. went to wrestling, and it was main evented by uh, uh, the finals of the Joe Abbey. Memorial Tournament, 
um, with our friends Brohemoth and David Lawless. Uh, Brohemoth coming away with yet another trophy, and he's booked to uh, join us here in about three weeks on the Wrestling Mayhem show uh, to talk about that and generally chat with us and hang out because he hasn't been on the show. We just play video games whenever he's here, and that's it. Uh, but but it's his gimmick. Um, but uh, uh, my good from this week is actually also a sad point. Uh, was uh, our friend the Beast Man? I, I, you, I know you guys probably saw this when I posted. Our friend the Beast Man broke his bone. Oh no! Yeah, I saw that. that I, I mean, man. Uh, but you know, he broke it. There was a moment of sadness. Then he took the two halves of it and started uh, um, um, bushwhacker uh, chasing oh, the other guys. So he, so he pulled the Robin Hood man tights. <laughs> I think he did. I think he did. And. Um, uh, and after the match, he actually gave the two sides of the bone to kids at ringside. So, Sorg, how is he going to get back to the place where the Flintstones go to get dinner to get another bone that size? I don't know. Actually, <laughs> the I really think, veiled reference. I think there's, I I think there's um, a slight GoFundMe movement on the chat about it. We need to get him a new bone. <laughs> so, um, I I don't. Uh, contributed to any GoFundMe's about someone getting boned. Oh, okay. I don't contribute to those. I I have to have standards somewhere, Sork. Uh, Potter, was there any uh, any uh, other wrestling, any good <laughs> good from this weekend or this last week of wrestling that you uh, really enjoyed? Uh, honestly, nah. Well, I would say um, uh, um, NXT UK seeing Piper Niven come out. Ooh. Oh, oh, she's yeah, back. I forgot. Yes. Nice. Uh, I mean, She's... I don't like the fact that they have her dressed in black leather. And that's something Ruth mentioned, too. It's like, oh, look, a big girl. Let's dress her in black for some reason. Yeah, what is this? WWE's, like, freaking, I don't know. Because they have no idea how to dress anyone who's They're bigger than a size four. They're hmm. sizes. Kind of. Kind of, I mean, yeah. Nina yeah. does not look that big in real life. Well, I hate they, to say, no, I don't know. I've never seen her in real life, days. but... Well, they they also... have two ways of dressing women. Nia Jax, Bertha Faye. That's it. Yeah. There's there's no mid-ground. There's no mid-ground for that. Like... No, and it's ridiculous because you see Nia, even on Total Divas, where she's dressed just her normally. Like, yeah, normally, and she dresses herself. You're like, did she, does she like put on 50 pounds for wrestling then take it off immediately? I mean, I know she's she not. She does. Easy. That's Tamina. Oh. Wow. Uh-huh. oh wow wow i love that oh can you feel can you feel the energy of that joke oh, oh can you feel the energy of that joke the tamina trolling son of a bitch oh wow <laughs> oh that that joke may be my good thing in wrestling i think that, i think that's it i don't think we need anything else from you no no that's it <laughs> no um <laughs> It's getting it because she has to carry the extra. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I, we get it. Don't explain the joke. <laughs> it's funnier if I do. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, my my uh, my good thing. The Iconics wrestled their first match on Raw. You guys. Oh yeah. Good showing. Hell yeah. Love me some Iconics. Mm-hmm. They have no fucking chance in hell of winning Sunday. But damn it, do I want it to happen? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, all right. Wouldn't that be the ultimate if, troll? You can if, still, you you can, asked, you, you, if you asked me, like, I can book one title match. I can book one title match. But the people who I want to win in all of the other title matches will lose. I think I might book the Iconics to win. <laughs> and I really want Kofi to win. And I really want Becky and Make Ron to tap out. But I think if I was given the choice... I would have the Iconics win the tag. Would that be your WrestleMania moment this year, Mike? I think it might be. Mm. I I, like if if I had my druthers. If I had my druthers, I think that would be it. There is less than zero percent chance of that happening. (laughs) Like honestly, you know what has a greater percentage of that happening? Trish and Lita coming out and being added to the match. And winning, you know what? I want to bring I want to bring a question to the show tomorrow night on Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're gonna have Chris Larusso, one of the guardians of the independence, 
uh, joining <laughs> us. And uh, hopefully he won't kick me in the face this time. Uh, yeah, he hasn't been that back. Better be on his, that, that better be on a bottom third a little bit there, Sork. What? Guardian the Independence. Or guy. We have his name up there. Or guy that kicked Sorg in the face. <laughs> anyway. I just kicked Sorg. Anyways, I forgot what, what my question was now. Oh, uh, for tomorrow, <laughs> and, and I need to write down, remember that we, we, we did this. Uh, Mike, hold me to this. Um, okay. uh, uh, what surprise do you want from Mania? What is your... Oh well, long right, shot, right. Ball, like the the Zack Ryder winning the Intercontinental title surprise, right? Gotcha. You, okay. okay, I like okay. that. I mean, I, I think like I think your Iconics has already won. Uh, I will come up with a different one. Okay, since, since right. I said the Iconics here, and Bobby will probably okay. say it too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> let's be Bob, Bobby. No, actually, Bobby will say Asuka inserts herself into the main event and, <laughs> and, uh, and beats everybody. <laughs> yes. Hey, no, Bobby will say Asuka enters herself into. The other battle royal too, and wins them both. Asuka <laughs> inserts herself into the Universal Championship and wins the belt. Asuka just puts herself in every match and <laughs> wins all of them. It's gonna be except Oscar. for Kofi because she's happy for Kofi. Mm-hmm. 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 I can see that. Hey buddies, hey be buddies. I, has she been on? Has she Kofi. been on Up Up Down Down? No. Like, oh she, yes. I was gonna yes, say, she, actually, there's an adorable video uh-huh. of her of. Of Woods teaching her to do VR. No. Yeah. And 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 there is a little bit of a language barrier, right? Oh, there's a lot of bit of a language. Like, she barrier. is not. She is not like. She she's okay with things. Yeah, she's, she's okay. okay. I mean, she's probably like, but probably where Shinsuke is with stuff, right? Her Shinsuke is on the episode too, and Shinsuke oh, great. helps this guy. Yeah. Um. Sword, you want to find that episode? Okay. It's Shinsuke and Asuka both learning how to use VR. Okay. All right. I'm on. And uh, I'm and on Daniel, it. um, what part of Robin Hood Man Tights was I talking about? The part where they're on the bridge and they're fighting with the uh, beams of wood, and it breaks in half, and then they just use the use the smaller sticks. <laughs> That's the part I was talking about in reference to Beast Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Mad Mike four eight eight three on the tweeters. YouTube.com slash Poppy. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm sorry. Knows. I'm sorry. Poppy got hosed. Sword. <laughs> the power of the STDs compels no, you. No, no, no. This is your fault. I'm blaming you for this. You wanted your damn SEO. You fucking got it. And I'm, I'm upset. I'm because Poppy was winning. Mm-hmm. Sword, don't you want Poppy hosting WrestleMania? Because to be honest, what's Chex Flexor going to do? He's going to sign a pizza. He's going to get his ass kicked by Colin Jost. That's about it. Wait till you see the image that we potentially get to use for this. Sorg, I've seen the images. You know what? Do you have an image of Chex Flexor covered in blood singing, I'm Poppy? No, (laughs) you fucking well don't. Actually... I mean, all I have to do is send a message. <laughs> all right, if you get Chess Flexor saying I'm Poppy, like Chess Flexor doing a Poppy imitation, I'll accept that as my WrestleMania, as my Mayhem Mania host. All right, we'll see what we can do. Okay. I've been, listen, I've been request, I've been making a lot of requests, interesting requests of wrestlers like this evening. Um, you know, between that and uh, we did book uh, Rachel Bostic, who's just back from Japan. Um, oh, I, I am so sorry. I can't remember her name in uh, uh, Women of Wrestling over on Access. Uh, Chantilly? Something Chantilly? Um, Chantilly. No, 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 no. Chantilly. It, it's like, it's like ch- Chili Chantilly or something. It's it's, okay. it's weird. Oh. Uh, I watched a little. I, I watched one of her matches on there. But anyways, I, I didn't bring that up. I'm like, listen, I'm gonna have you on to talk about Japan, but we're probably just gonna talk about panda videos. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know the ones I talk about, Mike. Oh, I'm well aware. Mm-hmm. 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 Wait, which mm-hmm. does need to be. So, uh, right. yeah, in, in private, in private mode. <laughs> we know, we know, Sorg always in private mode. WMS we know. Platinum. WMS yeah. Platinum. No, 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 not those ones. Uh, no, 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 the other Panda videos. Anyways, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is we got some good guests. Like I said, Chris LaRusso is going to be on uh, uh, fresh off of Raw here in Pittsburgh a couple of weeks ago. The Savage Gentleman, Victor Benjamin, and Emma, F- no, Lady Frost. <laughs> so that, was, that was her old name. Um, Emma Frost? 
Sorg. No, that wasn't her old name. That's the other character. We can't and I let keep... her on. She is a psychic and the leader of the Hellfire Club. <laughs> we can't do that. Sorg, she's a danger to both mutants and humans. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. And a danger to the Mayhem show. Uh, they'll be on after all their... Her fights. diamond form will cut you to shreds, Sorg. <laughs> She sang, she sang and let it go when she was wrestling Kelly Klein last weekend. <laughs> so the gold doesn't bother her in diamond form. I need to get the gold. I need to get the, get the thing. Oh, geez. I think, I think little girls just think she's El Elsa from Frozen and it's, it's great and it works. And <laughs> hey, you know what? That's fucking, that's, dope. that's great. That's amazing. That's a great gimmick. Did you, did the, do you know she weighs in at 10,000 snowflakes? <laughs> There's been a lot. No, there's been a lot since we've had her on last. I was unaware of that, but that <laughs> is phenomenal. Um, can, I, I, Sorg, when you when you speak to her, I have a request for her. Can she come out to Mister Freeze's music from Batman and Robin? But wait, Mister Freeze's music? Yes. What was Mister Freeze's music? I don't know. He probably had some kind of score <laughs> that was set up for it. Or I'm Mr. White Christmas. Oh, I'm Mr. The Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> singing it. Sing, sing. Jeez, oh, that might be that might be for Victor when he's got the the frosty uh, look to him when he's the 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 second to the match. Wait, um, Victor, as hmm. in Victor Freeze? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I you know what? I bet they <laughs> we've all. Put this together, See, folks. We are through the looking glass like Mojo fucking Ross. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought it back to Ross. Or... Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know if they're geeky enough to get that reference. Like, have come up with that, with the, with that reference. But um... I, if not, we need to inform them. <laughs> <laughs> we need to inform them. Anyways, they, that they Rachel need Bostic, to... Hemoth will be here in a few weeks. Um, we need also... to have a with someone named Nora. Also, episode six 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 of the Re of the Wrestling Mayhem show coming up here May seventh. We'll uh we'll <laughs> we'll welcome back Gory yeah. <laughs> with us. Yes, that's, <laughs> of, why, I did, that's why I did the post. Generation Dead and stuff. Uh, and also by personal demand via uh, Facebook Messenger, Ronnie Sars will join us again on May fourteenth. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's like, book me. I'm like, you want me? I sure. <laughs> it's, it's, no, sorry. Just tell him it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be me. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's starting. That's mm. starting. And then also sometime in June, we have to figure out what happens when Sorg is not here. Um, may Sorg, Matt hosted the podcast just fine. That's right. That, that might be what we're doing. We'll see. I have, <laughs> I have to find out if the gig I'll be doing in Michigan will require parts of the studio. But uh, <laughs> oh, yes, Sorg, do not loan them. May do not loan them producer Missy. No, I, they won't. They don't. No, they're not paying enough for producer Missy. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, General Motors. Anyways, uh, thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you for not 9 p.m. Eastern time on Thanks, the Wrestling guys. Mayhem Show Facebook Tuesday, and we will be here probably next week for the wrap-up as well. Until then, keep it... Pointing! Pointing! Point! Pointing! Pointing, pointing! Pointing! We'll see you then. Pointing. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time then attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.